your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. God has given you and me another opportunity to think about our future. We are more concerned about the outside. We are neglecting the inside. I introduced this message on Wednesday. Be concerned about the inside, not your outside. Your inside is where the secret of life is being kept. We beautify ourselves every day. No one can leave the house without blushing the teeth or you comb your hair. If it is our women, you put foundation, you put whatever is there, you paint your lips with paint so that, you know, you look beautiful to everyone. What about your insight? The issue is not what, you know, you see outside, but what is inside your body. What is danger to your life is inside you. There is no sickness that can, you know, destroy you as long as it is outside your body. Praise the Lord. We are more concerned about the outside more than the inside. And your inside is more important than your outside. No one knows that you are sick, but inside you are sick. You don't know who is next to you, if it is a criminal or a witch doctor. The appearance will mislead you and deceive you that this is your fellow brother or your fellow sister, and yet the person very close to you is very dangerous. Be concerned about your inside more than your outside. The way you, you, know, you look after your outside, I think you need to do more than that to your inside. Everything, everything that you, you know you cannot see is what is, you know, threatening your life. You cannot identify a criminal by just, you know, looking at a dress code or a satanist. You just see a dress, a shirt, a miniskirt or what. You cannot. Unless if you go inside, you know that this person is a satanist. Today, you can just look at the face of your grandfather. The face is now deformed because of the age. You say, ah, Bambuya Nindosh. No. This is what, you know, makes people to miss the opportunity. When Jesus appeared here on earth, no one could, you know, recognize that this is the Savior because they were more of the outside than the inside. Let me take you to the book of Mark chapter 7, verse 1. From here, we'll go back to Matthew 23, verse 25. But as, let me call you on this one. The Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that, are, that were defiled, that is, unwashed. Verse 3. The Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing 
holding on to the tradition of the elders. When they came from marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash and they observe many other traditions, such as the washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. Verse 5. So the Pharisees and the teachers of the law ask Jesus, why don't your disciple live according to the tradition of the elders? Instead of eating their food with defiled hands, that is unwashed hands. You remove defiled, you replace it with unwashed hands so that you get the clear picture. This is the response from our Savior in verse 6. He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, hypocrites. As it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. These people honor me with what? But their hearts are far from what? I mean, if you look at all the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you could see the zeal to say we are the children of God. But in reality, that is inside their heart. They were not. They were more concerned to the outside to show people that we are serious. We observe the law. We wash our hands. We cannot eat without washing our hands. You are washing your hands? What about your inside? Are you clean inside? If you wash your hands, remember that even your, your inside need to be washed. Praise the Lord. They gathered around Jesus because they became fault finders after you know they saw that this man is not part of us. His teachings, everything is completely different to what we are, you know, teaching. So they became what? Fault finders to him. The Bible says that they gathered around Jesus and saw some of the disciples eating without washing their hands. They question him, why don't your disciples wash their hands before eating? Or follow the tradition of the elders? Religious type of worship does not please God or make you a child of God. It is what you call inside your heart. You need to be sure of your inside more than your outside. Even where others are doubting you, your inside must convince you that yes, you are clean inside. If your inside is not clean, then think twice. And what can make your inside to be unclean? And forgiveness, hatred, anger, jealous, envy, peer pleasure, you know, all kinds of evil. Anything evil is inside you. The appetite for sin. No one could see that this Mulenga is a sinner. You see me wearing a, 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 a shirt like this one and say, ah, he's looking uh, nice, he's very clean. What about my inside? You see a woman putting on a, a Peruvian, Brazilian, a, with a, a long nails, all kinds of beautiful things. You don't know that inside is a lioness, or python, or cobbler. Immediately you connect yourself to that person, your life is poisoned. Be more concerned about your inside more than your outside. If you focus on the outside, know for sure that you miss heaven at the end of your journey here on earth. And anything here on earth can mislead you. Tell your neighbor, say, be concerned about your inside more than your outside. That is our simple title. Attention must be given to your inside more than your outside. 
ama luele tayeka la kunse mwa mwanati ii mwene ni ama luele fuwa kwe tobu ingi haba nitunga bala mwanati ya wana bala wala nga bala butuka by defining that someone who is sick eko haba nitwale pala mina someone who is not even you know qualified to be whatever you see people getting closer to that person be concerned about your inside what you are feeding your body what you are putting inside your life kunse na bantu kuti ba kumwena kwati awe tamufwe bebe ni toloshina libiruka bebe ni pali ya pale moneka kunse but inside it is only you and jesus you look nice outside but you are a fighter you are a criminal you are a witch doctor no one knows that you are a herbalist but inside your heart you know that you are a witch doctor or you are a criminal outside ah kuti ba kushira fene ndala mati tusungile niko 1 million it was like and yet you are a criminal so okay you see if you find me so be concerned about your inside more than your outside listen to what jesus said Before I, I, I take you there, this is verse 5. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law ask Jesus, why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders? According to the tradition of the elders, not according to the will of God. Simply means you need to please people and people must, you know, approve your Christianity that yes, Mulenga is a child of God. Or else, you are not a child of God in the eyes of men and women. As long as people are not, you know, confessing that Mlenga is a child of God, to you, religious people, you think you are not a Christian. Let people call you names. Your inside will prove them wrong that you are not such a person inside your heart. Jesus was called different what? names but his inside was not like the way that you were calling him but today it's better you please people than your father were like what the, the teachers of the law is saying here let them live according to tradition of what the elders jesus under, answered them this isaiah was light when he prophesied about you hypocrites it is written that you honor me with your word but your heart is far from me it is very easy to say jesus is lord what about your inside are you saying jesus is lord if the answer is no who are you worshiping are you worshiping your fellow human beings if you concentrate to your outside even your focus will be to make sure that people who are surrounded you they are the ones to confirm you that you are a child of god which is not proper it is your insight if you call me mulenga is a is a criminal mulenga is a satanist inside i know myself that i am not such a person i am a child of god i belong to jesus my insight will prove you wrong that is future that he was not what you, you said he is and i'll concentrate more to my inside more than what people are saying outside because what people are saying outside they are fighting the inside so that i became like them outside and inside you get the point so be concerned about your inside more than your out stop paying attention to critics to the people who are opposing you those who are gossiping those who are threatening you be concerned about your inside because that is where your life is i am no longer a slave to see i am a child are you sure you, inside you are such a person or is your voice that is your lips now confessing like as it is written here that they honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me mushamula no bwa rati akale na lekele muntu mwa mwipusha mushamu na ino akale na lifireka ah badi mumula no bwa rai ah ni mairo fenika mofie you see what you are confessing and what you are calling is not what 
We are here in the presence of God. God cannot heal you or deliver you from that problem. He will start with your inside. Your heart must be what? Delivered. Before you receive your healing, it is your heart first to be connected to him. If you are there and you think God can heal you or bless you or promote you so that you can go outside and do whatever you want to do, God cannot do that to you. He will start with your what? Your insight. Listen to Matthew 23, verse 25. Are you there? I hope we are together. This is what I shared with my people. This is 25. Who to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greedy and self-indulgence. 26. Blind Pharisees, First, clean the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside also will be cleaned. Clean the inside first before you start cleaning what? The outside. Jesus said, You blind Pharisees, clean first the inside before you start cleaning the outside. Why are we quick to tell people that I'm a child of God and yet inside? There are people who are in church. They are in church. They are in church. They are in church. But you know, you know, you are in church. You are in church. Come on, people of God. This is why you see Satan is always, always penetrating our lives. Because our inside is where his property is being kept. And then we confess Jesus with our mouth. Inside our heart, we are keeping Satan as property. Jesus said, you blind Pharisees, clean first the inside. And then thereafter, you clean what? The outside. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you are like a whitewashed tombs which looks beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of what? Bones of dead. Everything unclean. You know, if you go to the graveyard, I even talked about it on Wednesday, you will find that there is a, you know, a tombstone that they have put on the, under our departed, you know, brothers and sisters. If you look at the outside, where they have buried rich people, leaders of this world. You can even sit there and eat food like you are in the hotel. Remove the tombstone and continue eating. Go to the place where they put the coffin and open the coffin. What you see is dead things. This is what is written here. Are you there in 27? You are like whitewashed tombs, which looks beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of what? The bones of the dead and everything unclean. What kind of Christian are we? If Jesus can compare you to the graveyard, where they have buried someone who has died maybe a, a week ago or maybe a year ago or two years ago, and it's comparing you to, you know, such a situation to say, your outside, you look beautiful. The way they decorate what? The tombstone. But inside the tombstone, there are bones. Everything is dirty, it's unclean. That is not the way of Christianity. You start with your inside. Look at the dress code. Jesus. At least by record. That is acting. Make no mistake. That is acting. They just pick the story. There was nothing like, you know, wearing suit or what and what. But the man was, you know, full of what? Anointing. Pure. Like water. 
you can mirror yourself in Jesus' heart. But if you look at, you know, the outward appearance, you see him, he has no house, he has no vehicle, he has no place to sleep anywhere, he can sleep anywhere. But inside, the inside to make the place to be clean. Even if the place is dirty, the inside do what? Who make the place clean. What do I mean? If you go to a place where a demons or witches and wizards are dominating that area or your house or your business, your inside must do what? Quench their power without even talking. That is proper Christianity. Christianity is not your voice where you say, Holy Ghost fire. What? No. Proper Christianity is in your heart. Even where you are, you know, quiet. But your inside is what? Talking to your problem. At mumone kange manda. Gata mumfu ikishi. Manda mulawashi kenshi. Ishi mwane kabu ino panse badinga mwa imba. Mwa bama fpaya bola. Na fiyonse fya bama fintu fya lamba. And then Kunse, you are busy saying, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. What you are calling inside will determine your last day here on earth if you don't know. So be concerned about your inside more than your what? Go to town. See, everyone is busy. Ngamwabe pishamulea kuisa. No, parika business. Mulea kuisa. Ndefu waka contract. Mulea kuisa. Money is for what? Money is for what? Food. After you eat. Is food again? Is it not waste? Hmm? You buy food in shop light. When you eat, the food that you buy from shop light will become waste. Mwadibika kosa na mano kuli shimibidi. Shweta mwa ishwa nefyo le sashi pangide. Mwadibano kulunda kwe fienu. But muka tika miti mamumia nui, tamusaka mana. Kwa li baba kwa ati nanguta pepele, tasaka mana na hape taiti sana. Chikulu fiyari ya chitashani. Bambinga amba fene nchito oku pepani finish. There are people who used to go to church very early in the morning. When you go to church, it's the first person inside the church. Ya mwati wa ya wabakuwa ngalira kwa. Fiya vaya wa fiya konka na nafiyo sana. If you want to sing, I'm not moving. Tavala ambo kubomba. Insta taira moneke fintu na fishupa. Immediately, if you want to sing, chito. Vaya wenishwa, vachita shani. Sister, oh sister, if you want to church, let's talk to sing about church. But you want to mission? If you have a little under ten, you have a muisa. No, but you show a fuanga chamoneka. We are more concerned about this, this body, the outside, because to focus on it, we know. To focus on it, we know. We are more concerned about it. 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 Tuwa yufila noruse. Kuzu wala mwana bangoshe. Uya pita apita mubleni. Asa apita mkulu. Apita mumu sana. Apitila oku. Apitila kuisa. Nga chakwa titu waba mwana tetu kumbwe na futi. But pamula nduwa kana ishiba. What is you know inside that person? You keep on following dead things. Dead things. Dead things. Until you become dead like that person. So be concerned about your inside. More than your what? It is very easy for Satan to bring you down as long as your inside is dirty. It is very easy. Satan cannot bring you down as long as you are clean inside your heart. This is why Jesus said, you honor me with your what? But your heart is far from me. If you ask the question here to say, do you love Jesus? Everyone will say, yes, <laughs> I love him. How? Ukumu temwa yesu kuchitefia fuaya. Not ukula nda finish. Tell your neighbor, say, be concerned about your insight 
more than your outside. Mwalisa kama na poku iwami ya kunse, pauti ya wantu wa monati mula moneka wino. Badi mukati. Sometimes mule tandari la wantu nga wadi afuma pama ya ndolu chelo. Mule ishwa tubusa kabaku wata, te wachishinka, wakuwe wepa wantu. Bambi mkasanga fena mwafike mpoto, pamuinshi, fionse pamuinshi, badinga mwa walole chefi wale moneka. Tetu mula nda te wachishie mpoto wefi. Because ubusaka nga walikuwa to ubusaka, wambi la kuisa. Na kunse te tute mwoku mwonenshi. No mangata ukwe tu ubusaka mukati. Ule ipango kwa to ubusaka kunse. Ifi kota fiakale kusesha. Ukala mfuafe buino. Saka maneni muisa. Emuli nkama ya life ni muisa. Noti kunse. Kunse uli wansi. Nani ule moneka pa muli hati muwembu. Nga marole chobu mpala mene na uli. Shobu ule moneka hati babembu. If you are a monica, if you are some bile, but Mukati, Mulepitan M. Wishing, be concerned about your insight more than your what? Yes, that's what I interest. Consider what I interest, Musa. Let me again remind you about this. Listen to 28. In the same way, on the outs, I mean, on the outside, you appear to people as lycians, but on the inside, you are full of what? Hypocrisy and wickedness. Epala msanga tumuntu wale mwoneka wino But kukwenda na wamukabe ni achitashani Apena Haliko samu kubomba kucheichi Nombali lamba mukati Haliko samu kuchitashani But mukati mwali kuchitashani Tetia yuko ntolole pantu efi hava Your inside is more powerful than your outside It is your inside who can influence your outside Yes you want to save Jesus, but your insight is not in agreement with your, you know, your thoughts. You keep on struggling and struggling, not until you clean what? Your insight. You appear to people as lycians, but inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Who can accept that one? Can you accept that word that you are such a person? Eh? No one, but you deserve it according to your insight. Hmm? No one can say, okay, it's me here. No one. You appeared to be Elisha's person in the eyes of the people. Blind people. This is why you see even witches and wizards are the ones who are occupying, you know, positions in the church. Busy misreading the masses. They are planting their seeds. What you carry inside is what you share with your, whoever is listening to you. You appear to be Elisha's person, Elisha's woman. See what is happening now in this world. Hmm. It's terrible. It's, no one knows who is a child of God. No one knows. It is only through the dress code that you can identify a man of God. Wearing a, a collar or a jacket or maybe the voice. Because more especially us happened. Because we pray a lot and our voices somehow sound like a, a bass guitar. Mwavoka shadwa mayo. Hallelujah, child of God. Mwavoka shadwa. Meaning, avavala pepasana. It is not your voice. There's nothing wrong to pray for five hours. But what is important is your insight. Are you really such a person inside your heart? What you are confessing and what you are calling is not the same. Stop pleasing people. Please only your creator in heaven. Human beings cannot answer your prayer or take you to heaven. All of us 
including myself, I need salvation. I need, I'm just doing the work of my day. Stop pleasing people. Because everyone is saying, no, Mulenga is a servant of God. Mulenga is a... What about Jesus? If you say Mulenga is a servant of God and Jesus said, no, Mulenga is not a servant of God, which one is good? It's better Jesus knows me that I am his servant and you people, you know, you call me whatever name. Much better. Because I know that at the end of my journey, I'm going to smile. And the future will prove these people are wrong. But to you, it's better you please people. But Jesus is going to be from people. But you are going to be able to do it. You are going to be able to do it. You are going to be able to do it. You are going to be able to do it. Because we wish that we provide some portion. Ni wewe bila tawa cha shan. Ngaba we wish bansi ba isapo. Chile na watu wa sungomu salu la muisa. Mukatika mutima. If you are langa kubantu fintunga filibu, you know if you know you you praise God, Father, thank you, Hallelujah. Ah, kwenye ili mwachira pepa ni umfano mshishule nda. Hello, masanda. Fish mwachira ababa pepi ababa. Mwana imamu ilave peko. Waka mingishe fiwa ba. Ba nukweba kwa te fiwa. Tapala pita nenshi. Nenshi ta. There you know that you muntu wa kwa te nshi. Musalula. Be concerned about your insa. When you are provoked, that's when you know that you are a child of God. When things became sour, that's when you know that yes, there is peace inside me. In John 14 verse 27, Jesus said, this is what I live with you. He knew that there will be something, you know, to provoke you as a child of God. But he planted the word peace inside you. So that even if there will be one or two things, you know, scratching your body, because of that inner peace, you will stand firm and overcome that persecution or affliction. Praise the Lord. So be concerned about what? Are we clean inside? Eh? Chisungwicho. Yes, Nishi. That is English. Your heart is not English. You are a human being. Jesus said, You honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Are we clean inside? As an individual, are you clean inside your heart? Or you are washing your outside, then inside you are like a place where they buried a human being. You remember that Kaonde song? Mumuchima mami kema kusebenze lankambo Mumuchima mami Kewa kusebenze la kambo Kambo mwa wama Kambo mwa wama Kambo mwa wama Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your heart is a place where Jesus you know, deserve to be what? Settled. It is only the Holy Spirit to occupy your heart. Na tusamba, na tumone kabwino, nga muka timulishani. Nga mwaba checking over mwikele na vuti mwabu tuka. Ti mwamba ulubiru wati njikele nechi swango. But if you have a name, ah, now we have a perfume. But if you have a name, 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 you have a Be concerned about your inside more than your outside. 
What can destroy you is inside you. Voice is just a symbol that you are calling. Have you ever seen a satanist, you know, walking and say, I cast spells, I cast spells, spells of killing, spells of poverty. Have you ever come across of such a, a person? No. No. They understand life beyond the flesh. They will just carry powers inside their heart. They will just look at you. 2,000. 3,000. Without even talking. No, Kushana ni mbiala itashana. Vila pine ngashana, ngashinguluka, nishatanda, ama demons. Elo imwenomba. I say fire. Which fire? There is no fire coming out of your heart. It is your voice coming out. Fire will come out of your heart if your heart is clean. As long as you are dead inside your heart, you can shout fire, 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 you get tired. Satana is on top of your life. It's on top of your business. On top of everything because your inside belongs to him. But if your inside is clean, even without talking, you can speak fire. And fire will, will start what? Coming out. I remember one day we were praying. One of our brothers is there standing there. He was meditating without talking. Then I saw one woman who manifested, followed the brother and grabbed him. What are you doing? And this man is quiet. He's not even talking. You cannot even hear anything. The mouth was completely closed. But inside his heart was busy what? Meditating. Then the evil spirit was provoked because the fire was coming from the brother going direct to that person. Then I say, ah, what is happening? He said, do you know what he's doing? He's supporting what you are doing here. He's sending these things to me. I, I am not happy. It was not easy, but with Jesus, it became easy. Praise the Lord. So it is not what you are saying. This is why, you know, I can touch you, touch you, touch you. I remember the man of God before he passed on. He said, evil spirits are very stubborn. They always capitalize on what you are calling inside you. What you are saying and what you are calling is not the same. There you make them what? Stubborn. Because it's like you are leading people with your, you know, their voices. They are like following you with their voices. But their heart is saying, no. Why are you forcing them to follow you? We are inside your lady. Not until you discover that your heart is not clean. You are far from Jesus. That's when Satan will become weak inside you. And you'll be feeling like you're leaving your body. Because the Holy Spirit will be now ready to occupy your heart. But in a situation where you are just trusting your voice, the more you shout, you think the more power is coming. No. We shout because we are leading people. But when you are praying alone, there's no need for you to shout. Pantu bambinga kula ndafati mupepe, ukwa buloku, ukwa samuna kanwa. Timu afura fano kurumbula Jesus kumutimu. Sarumbula mocha achine chikele mutima mienu. Praise the Lord. Maritala mufwa po mwana wakualeza, even our savior, or Stephen, or any apostle, the people we know they persecuted before our time. Through that beatings, the insult, nawe nabatuka, na maritala mufwa po efu. The inside is more peaceful than the beatings on the flesh. The inside is what? More peaceful Follow Jesus. Sometimes, if you remember, there was a day when you know the sea was, you know, becoming mad, and he was deliberately what sleeping, in the book of Matthew eight verse twenty six. 
Then the disciples started working. Master, we are dying. Master, we are dying. Master, he just, you know, wake up from there and say, you, 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 you people of little faith. And raised his hand. And the Bible says that there was total calmness immediately. The energy of this body cannot fight a spirit being. So be concerned about your inside more than your what? Mm -hmm. If your inside is clean, even your outside will be what? Clean. As long as you are dead inside, kuti mwamaneka kwa na kalimona mchinja, na ngula lesana mumu temwa, ifiri muka timuli ya fire elefie, nga fiabuka, mwabwele la kuisa, you get the point. Mm -hmm. So your insight is more important. Jesus said you are like, you know, tombs where they have buried human beings. Full of dead, full of bones. But your outside, you look beautiful and nice. Go and open the tomb. What you see, you learn away. Now, favorite thing about the tomb is that Ngabaya kumanda hai kala pa manda bali wikapo nani kani. Ngachako wati kumwa wati kekale pala bashi kabru luove. Fimbula poe wikale pala pene pali ya mafu. Pata pali winge kala pa. Wameni muka tinoti kuisa. Mwari wama muka tila miss your hand. Ah, 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 ah. Yesu ale mimona Yesu ale itashani Aha You know your heart You know your activities Don't deceive yourself We need, I need help from Jesus You need help from Jesus Jesus cannot fail you If you trust him And surrender to him He cannot do what? No He can never never fail he can never, never fail. He, he can, can never, never fail. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus is the same He can never, ever. He can He can never, ever. Oh, he can. Jesus is the same for he can never ever, can never ever fail. He can.